Yo, what is up, peoplers? Welcome back to It's Game Time, where life is a game and game is life. And for this game episode, I'm going to show you how to complete the fifth quest entitled The Box here and build a boat for treasure. But before we move on to the game, as always, I upload new videos two to three times a week, either on my main channel or on my gaming channel. So please, please consider subscribing and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll get notified whenever a new video is up. So without further ado, let's head into the game. Alright, so to start the game, as always, click on Change Teams, click on the quest icon, and click on the box because this is what we're gonna need. And as you can see, I've already completed the quest as well. So click on the box and click on Start Quest. But before, before we click on Start Quest, let's check out what we're gonna get. So we're gonna get 250 glass blocks, 150 gold, and one mystery block if we complete this quest. And of course, the quest rule is still do not attach blocks to your avatar. So click start quest to start the quest, but it says clear the field first. As always, I don't know why, but I'm going to clear my play field first. And oops, sorry about that. Start the quest again. Okay, once you click on the start quest, you will get, we will see a, uh, it's like a Mario box in here with question mark. So it's not gonna do anything yet unless you approach it there. So if you get close to it, it's gonna react. So that's what I usually do. So I basically built the uh, built the base first before starting the quest because if you try to build your base once uh, while this block is in here, it's gonna mess up your your building process. So I suggest that you try to build your base first and before you start the quest. If that makes sense. And also, um, see, I'm now turned into a zombie. It doesn't really matter whatever you're gonna use because it's gonna turn everything near it into something else. Like, for example, if you are using a, a block here, I, I tried using different blocks when I was building. Like, I, I tried this one, I tried the steel box. But during the process, it transformed those blocks into something else like to a wooden blocks which is you know easily get destroyed and also one tip is that you go to a base closer to the starting area instead of go to the white or the, the other one so you either choose yellow or magenta in doing this it's not gonna take time to go here because as you can see you need to save time you have to get to the end as fast as you can because this block is really a pain in the butt Alright, so I'm gonna show you what I built. I'm not gonna show you the process of how I built it, but I'm just gonna load it. I saved it anyway. So basically, uh, the start, what I did is just uh, surround this block with stars because it does not affect the stars. Th that's what I did, I think. Yeah, as far as I can remember, that's what I did. And then after that, that's when I tried to, you know, cover it with blocks. Oops. There. That's the reason why you, you you want to build a base first before you put this pin blocks. That, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call this a pin block. So I already have it. So I'm gonna load the what I saved. This is what I actually did. All right. So it's a thick, just like uh, my my previous build on the dragon quest. I made a thick uh, thick wall base so that it will get protected and as you can see i've placed a lot of i'm not sure what this i'm not sure what you call this but i placed a lot of this so it would hit first the blocks along the way and there are loose uh flags in here that i need to fix i think so there there's another loose in here i need to fix those so the reason why I'm doing this is because, as I have mentioned, the paint block will transform the base into something else, either into golden blocks and worse, to wooden blocks. And when that happens, you will not be able to complete the quest. So I, I did surround it with a lot of things, with these things, because uh, once it turns, once the base turns into a wooden block, these things surrounding the base would hit the obstacles along the way instead of directly hitting the base. Um, this is not a perfect build, but it did the work. Where's, where's that one? I can see the flag. Oh, there. I need to 
to put this because because I because I can I need to put this here and here as well just so there's something to hit so yeah basically you're, you're gonna protect the base as well by doing this once it transform into a wooden block but the good thing is it also transform into golden blocks which is be which is better because it is stronger so yeah so since we have already placed this uh, base or bill just go inside what I have inside is just a number of chairs so if you have some players with you you can just sit down here all right in a place door yeah I'm a zombie I know all right so we're gonna start the quest now or the game and let's hope that we're gonna arrive at the last stage without getting hit Ooh, that's a loose one again that's a miss all right so the most important thing here is that you bring the the block to the end with you alive okay so I'm gonna speed up the game because it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna speed up the game and hope that we'll be able to reach the the end to get to finish the quest all right so let's do this Alright, back to the normal speed of the game. Actually, if you're able to get through this final stage, uh, on the next uh, stage, you will get the rewards. But right now, as you can see, I think the game, uh, the quest didn't work on me because as you can see, it, uh, nothing happened on my, on, my, on my boat. But when that happens to you, it means that the quest is not working, so you have to reset and redo everything. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just showing you that I was able to complete the quest using this build. And I was able to show you the, the importance of putting this stuff uh, around your base because it will really, really save you from, from the destruction. So once you reach this stage, you will be able to get all the rewards uh, for the quest. And of course, you will be able to reach the end of the game and you'll get as well the usual 100 plus plus uh, gold as a reward so yeah well all I can say is that this quest is uh, really unpredictable it's like 70% strategy and 30% um, luck yeah that is because the pain block transforms into randomly transform into something else so you can't really predict what's gonna happen during the course of the game so yeah it's really really 30% luck and 70% strategy for me so there that's gonna be all for today thank you very much people for watching I hope you learned something new today if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also please do not forget to subscribe to my main channel and my gaming channel and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll get notified whenever a new video is up again my name is rg and i will see you all next time and i'm out Bye bye